Let's start off with um, the number of people on the planet. And there's about 8 billion of them. Two or three or four in a typical dwelling. Let's go for, say, three. But then each dwelling would have three or four doors. You're looking at roughly one door per person. Then let's, let's go to industry and cities. You're probably looking at another door per person. So maybe there's two doors per person, call it 16 billion doors. Now look at wheels. Eight billion people on the planet, roughly one in every five, has access to a car. Each car has got four wheels. But then each car has got four doors. But then we've forgotten the big one, kids. Mm -hmm. Kids have an infinite number of toys and each toy has wheels. Look, I, I was very strong on wheels. Hot Wheels cars, conveyor belts, the little wheels in drawers. But then I started thinking, well, doors also would be like cupboards and ah, yeah, and like course. a microwave. I'm definitely going to I don't know, and I'm reckoning that they will be identical to each other within a factor of 100. We, we, we can't let this go. There, there are deeper issues involved, like doors can be both a barrier and a pathway to enlightenment. Mm. And that's even just a small part of the reason why we should explore this question further. It really does feel like a sliding doors moment for humanity. What is the indeterminate, undefined pronoun it? Is it climate change, do the doors wheels debate, or the Russian invasion of Ukraine? You know what? I'll, I'll cop them all. <laughs> well, well it's a welcome distraction in these trying times. By the way, don't, don't tell you I finally worked out how to fix global warming and bring peace to Ukraine all in one go. No, we're talking about the wheels. We can't get onto that. Okay, let's think about important stuff like wheels and doors, yeah. not about world peace and fixing climate change. I'm with you. I'm hearing you.